Hello and welcome to my review of Windows 7. Now, I have Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit and the reason why I have it before the actual release of the retail version, which is I think it's October the 22nd, is because um, I bought my Windows 7 key from TechNet, Microsoft TechNet, and um, what TechNet is, is it's for evaluation purposes and it's a great value where you pay about $350 US and you basically get 10 keys of every single Microsoft OS out, something like that. And this is what I'm using. So, on with the review. My favorite feature of Windows 7 currently is the super bar, which is down here. The super bar is way more improved than the normal Vista taskbar, and the super bar features something that lets you preview um, windows that you have open, and this is most, this is best for like browser pages if you have multiple browser pages open it's very good to switch in uh, between them now to open Internet Explorer which is what I'm using at the moment all you have to do is you can click on it that, and it brings up your browser of course and if you want to open a new one click with your scroll wheel down to open a new one and you can open many many ones of course I have like five open and when you just left click on the on the thing or put your mouse over the uh, Internet Explorer icon down here. It shows you a whole list of all the windows or all the um, pages you have open in Internet Explorer and also works for um, other things. And over here you could preview them. When you put your mouse over it, it does that like so. And um, another cool feature about Windows 7 is you can of course bring down and minimize every single page by just when it's maximized just click this and drag it down and it'll automatically minimize. You want to maximize it, click it and drag it up. Another really cool feature is let's say I want to go to Google here and in another page I'm going to let's say YouTube. And if I want to compare pages, like let's say I'm comparing two products and I have each product on each page, what you could do, you could drag the first one and drag it to the left. Take the other one, drag it to the right and you can easily compare by clicking on each page you can compare of course you wouldn't compare Google and YouTube but you get what I'm saying now to take it away of course you just take it away from the side there you go another really cool feature about Windows 7 is the the taskbar uh, the taskbar the right side of the taskbar it has a nicer clock over here better more improved and the the icons you can hide them like um normally not all these icons would be out but I set it like that because I like them out there would be like a triangle over here in the top in the bottom right corner where you click them and then you could select what program you want to choose there another cool feature about Windows 7 that's been improved a lot is Microsoft Paint it's a very basic thing that you could uh, application you can use to draw stuff and design stuff and um, before Windows 7, uh, before Windows Vista and Windows XP, it was pretty cool, but now it's way better. I will show you. As you can see, the layout of paint has changed a lot now. And over here, you could choose what kind of brush you want. Over here is the normal brush, this is the calligraphy brush, and this is the airbrush, this is the oil brush. You could even have crayon brushes. Um, marker brushes, the natural pencil, and the watercolor. You can choose from many different shapes over here. It's pretty handy. And the color bar is uh, put here now. And you can make your own color over there. And uh, yeah, that's basically it to paint. Oh yeah, and um, what's really cool about it is when you draw, of course y you can um, choose your side there. The the texture of the brush is different and um, another thing is when you do that you could s select the anti-aliasing you want over here it's I think it's set pretty low you could see the uh, the white stuff in my opinion it looks pretty cool but depends on the user uh, another cool feature about it is the calculator here obviously it's more improved and um, there's more features to it and I don't know if you could do this in Windows Vista, but what I like about it is I didn't I don't I'm not sure about this, but 
in the Windows 7 calculator, when you make a mistake, if you click the back backspace key, you can actually like um, delete the numbers that you do not want in there. That's pretty cool. Now, a really cool feature about Windows 7 is the uh, the ability to change your theme and your wallpaper and your the color of everything very easily. What you do is you right click on your desktop and you go to personalize. Over here, you can choose any theme you want by clicking on it, such as this. And after that, just look and it's already changed just like that. The, these are the default ones. You could choose, say, nature. Pretty cool. Um, architecture. There you go. And so on and so forth. You can also change the Windows color. Like over here, you could, right now I have the, the, dark, the dark blue enabled. I can change it to red easily just by doing that. There you go. When you're happy with what you got, just click Save Changes. Oh, you can also change the intensity of it. That's pretty cool. And you can enable transparency or disable it. I'm not going to save changes though. That's really about all the features I can think of right now that really stand out in Windows 7. And it's, it's a way bigger improvement over Vista. Uh, many people at the release of Vista were, weren't were quite impressed with it and they switched back to XP. This is definitely not the case of last time. And Windows 7 is a big performance leap from Vista, in my opinion, as I I was a huge Vista user before Windows 7 came out well, from in TechNet. And um, in my opinion, if you get TechNet, which I recommend you should, uh, Windows 7 is should be one of the biggest reasons you could do it because it's an amazing operating system, way better than Vista, way better than XP, and actually it runs really well. And people are saying that vi uh, Windows 7 it performs uh, and it takes up I I don't know what they're saying, but like it takes up as much resources as XP does or something like that, and it looks obviously way nicer. And thank you for watching my review, my short review, and uh, I hope you enjoyed and take care.